seldom win game twos after losing game one against uh, one of the better teams in the tournament. If they're going to do it, though, this would be the time. Well, again, this match doesn't have the greatest import in the world for these teams. The side advantage is not particularly important and probably saving some of your strategies. Again, we haven't seen Trace play his top Rek'Sai, his top Nautilus, his True. top Kale, these champions that he has been furiously grinding in solo queue. We seem to see different strategies as far as what to show. Some teams just like play a ton of different stuff. Maybe keep you guessing what they're actually wanting to use. But Jin Air not showing a whole lot of new stuff. Yeah, new, new ban. So. Sivir actually banned out by CJ. That is very interesting. CJ putting top priority on Sivir in these games. We've seen two Sivir first picks tonight. Well, I'd assume we're going to see maybe an Urgot ban third then, just to kind of try to force Pilot into one of those picks that he had been playing previously, but don't really work that well right now. Yeah, There's the Ezreal AD carry, the, the Corky. Rumble, kind of Rumble ban, actually. Really different pick ban phase uh, Urgot, from both yep. of these teams. So there is the Urgot. Now, so, yeah. Annie up this game, Lissandra up this game. Where do you go if well, you're Jin Air? First picking Annie may not be the worst idea, huh? Yeah, of course, you give up the Sejuani, then you can assume Ambition's going to play that True. if the Nunu is banned. What about uh, Maokai as well? Yeah, that's obviously still an option. Yeah. Jinair thinking pretty hard about this one. Any, any way you slice it, you're going to leave some pretty think, powerful picks up for yeah, CJ. Yeah, I think it's already a better draft for CJ. Yeah, well, banning out AD carries, I think, really puts Jinair in a, a difficult spot with Pilot. Well, not any of the AD carries that he's particularly known for. Oh, man, are they actually going to first pick Rek'Sai? Uh, Jinair just obsessed with this champion, and yes, Chaser's very good at ganking lane with it, but it hasn't been getting them wins. Not as of yet, and... and prioritizing it here, I think, is a mistake, it. too. There oh. we go. Ah, much better. Okay. Okay. So we'll see what CJ picks up. The Nidalee could be chosen by... Well, I guess if it is now, that'd be a little bit interesting, unless they're going to run top Rek'Sai. We've seen both top Nidalee and top Rek'Sai this season, but... Of course, this top Nautilus, it is a it is a flex pick for Jin Air. We don't yep. know where it's going. Odds are it won't be jungle. That supporter top are definitely viable options. Hovering over Shy. It's like I remember when I used to play and dominate <laughs> with top lane rise. Marin's been playing it a lot in solo queue. Well, anytime you have this big tanky meta up here, you know, Rise does come back. So we'll we'll see him eventually, that's for sure. Oh boy, wow, Corky locked in for CJ. So thinking they're the ones who can hit this mid-game power spike. I think, I think if you're Jin Air right now, you just you play Super Tank. Yeah. You play Super Tank, you get Sejuani, maybe you get this Cho'Gath. Who's, who's your AD carry, though? Do you maybe go for some sort of hyper carry and just a bunch of tanks? Yeah, maybe you go for Kog'Maw, maybe you yeah. go for Lucian again. There's no problem with Lucian here. What about uh, even uh, Caitlyn? Uh, I'd be worried about that because Caitlyn's power trough is immediately when Corky's power spike is. And uh, that's that's like, yeah, that's that puts you in a dangerous situation in the game where you can get sieged quite easily. Ezreal does make a lot of sense, though. And they... Yep, that would be the default for Pilot. Wow, Chaser really... There we go. Please yeah. play Sejuani. This will be Chaser's first Sejuani game. Be a bit outside of his uh, supposed comfort zone from what we've seen. Zach ah, Zach. Works too. Oh. oh, oh, he switches back to Jarvan. Wow. Okay, well, more of the same from Jin Air. Well, at least the Nautilus is new. Yeah, and I mean, also flexing the Ezreal pick, at least for now, but that's going to cause Coco to lock in the Cho Gap. And I think it goes back to a lot of what you're saying, too, where, you know, how much do these teams really want to show, knowing that they're going to play each other in just a couple weeks in a much, much more important match? How much do you really want to reveal? Well, CJ revealing the cannon there, I guess. We'll see if that ends up being uh, support or top. That's the question these days. Yep. Uh, could be mid, could be Cho'Gath top. We really don't yeah, know anything too. about CJ's composition at the moment. Zareth Ooh. not banned this game. Yeah, that's true. And the poke raining in on this Cho'Gath could be annoying to deal with, to say the least. So this might be a, a top Nautilus then. Trace has been playing a ton of it. Uh, it's almost, yeah. Yep, yeah, it Jana will be a top Nautilus. Do we get to see it for the first time? Interesting. 
For those of you who are curious about Top Nautilus, uh, Trace likes to run attack speed reds and then scaling HP yellows, actually. So he gets super tanky. Rod of Ages, typically, uh, is his first item. And then he pretty much just builds full tank after that, except for sometimes late in the game, we'll buy a wit's end for huh. even more attack speed. So basically, you're just trying to proc your passive as often as you possibly can in these team fights. Yep. Stuns all day, every day. And so GBM will be playing his air. Oh, and Mad Life locks in Blitzcrank. Oh, yeah. It's happening. I And I think. I think this, I mean, Mad Life, yeah, his Blitzcrank is legendary, but I think this kind of shows how CJ is sort of thinking about this match in terms of seriousness. Because <laughs> Blitzcrank oh, is oh, great, look at that. But the, the Mad Life with Thresh and Blitzcrank <laughs> on the screen right there, a little cutouts. It's time. It's time. I love it. We're going back to the old days, Monty. It's <laughs> it's two years ago, and Mad Life is the god of grab once again. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Wow. We have not seen Mad Life's Blitzcrank in well over a year at least. Well, they, they, uh, the one thing I'll say about CJ's composition, they don't have great primary engage except for <laughs> Blitzcrank. Hey, uh, Choga, it's Mad Life. Coco was good at hitting the ruptures last game, but I mean, Kennen and Rek'Sai without Flash really can't serve as reliable primary engage here. So this may be a little bit wacky. Good to see Shy back on the cannon, however. Yep. In the top side now. And I'm super psyched to see this top lane Nautilus from Trace that he really has been playing a ton of in solo queue. Well, we knew this game or this series was going to deliver, and it looks like it certainly will in game number two. Here we go. Jin Air versus CJ. CJ trying to lock up third place. Can they do it? Let's get in the game. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Jynair Green Wings looking to tie things up against CJ Antis. CJ with a win here. Will lock up third place if they can get it in Mad Life. You can hear the crowd. The God of Grab has descended from the heavens. It's the Blitz skin he always uses too. Yep. His favorite Blitz skin, the Piltover Custom. So interesting level one from Jynair. A lot of people in the top side already. Uh, of course, picking Blitzcrank into Ezreal uh, makes things a little bit difficult for you. Also, well, why, why I was mentioning that lack of primary engage from CJ is that Jynair is playing a, a poke composition with a lot of peel. And Jynair, this is their specialty. This is how they've done so well this season, is on these poke comps. And when you don't have that primary engage, well, it's really hard to play against them because they're very good at warding their flanks. It's difficult to get a teleport off onto their composition. They play a very protective style and they're great at kiting. So I feel like CJ has an uphill battle here purely in terms of composition. Of course, they, with enough of a lead, they can do it, but... Well, again, I think this kind of confirms that uh, CJ's kind of thinking about the fans in this one. Again, you know, they know they're playing each other in the, the for the for the first match of the gauntlet in two weeks, so And I'm I'm wondering if Mad Life is going to build a righteous glory here, which would actually help them a lot. Yeah. To stabilize their engage. So that could oh, be I pretty think, important. I think absolutely these days you build righteous glory on the Blitzcrank. Okay, so we'll be a lane swap coming in based on Jinair's level one of sending so many people up to the top side. Yep. It is a bit dangerous to have a, a John against a Blitzcrank. You can get yourself in pretty big trouble sometimes. Also notably, because they took Gromp, Gromp right there, CJ did not get a lane freeze down. Mm. Meanwhile, lane already pushing back towards Jyn Air's top side tower. Chaser and Trace. Well, what is Mad Life doing? He's going for the sweet grabs. He certainly is waiting for it. I mean, just out of vision. This is really dangerous for Zareth, actually. Yeah, it is. Coco trying to bait him in by being a little bit lower health. Oh, Minion wave. He, he can't get the can't Aww. get the grab in there. Unfortunately, he's instead going to Sad put days. down a ward. Make sure that this red buff is 
safe for Ambition. No, they're going to give Mad Life the red buff, and then he's going to go own mid lane. <laughs> that's what you do. Here comes Trace. Oh, yep. Shy getting jumped on, flashes out of that hook. So that's okay. one summoner down for CJ already. Question is, uh, they're not going to push, looks like. So they want this freeze to go through. Were they yep. going to push and actually try and punish that flash by diving? But nope, everybody going to go back. Trace needs to catch this minion wave in bottom. But it is risky to TP in. Yep. And he can't do it. Uh, I really don't know if that was worth it, actually. He missed so many minions as a result of that move. Trace missing about a wave right there, and he's falling behind in terms of levels and, and CS. Well, finally coming down to bot lane. The Mad Life is right there. There's a grab onto Trace. He's got the power fist as well. There's the knockup. Ambition and Space coming in. Nice knockup as well from. Oh wow, there's First Blood going to Ambition and Mad Life setting that one up with Blitzcrank. Yeah, great play from CJ. Yep, they, they didn't were see ready. The, they didn't see the TP coming in, so they anticipated the walk into lane and had that position between the turrets already camped out. Honestly, Jenner should have expected that one. They watch it, walked pretty dangerously close to that brush, but the TP will come in now, but that's a lot of minions lost for Trace. A ton, look at the CS difference already. Yeah. yeah it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle to catch up again. We'll see how well CJ can control vision this game. That's really the key to Blitzcrank, the key to success. And remember that Trace builds that rod first on the top lane Nautilus, so, uh, he's going to delay his scaling even more. Uh oh, Coco in a little bit of trouble. Dodges uh -oh. a knockup, running away though. There's a teleport coming in, canceled. That'll at least give Coco time to back up. Yeah, and that's one of Cho'Gath's problems is that he right. can fall victim to some of these ganks in the mid lane and mobile. This flash down, but didn't have to blow it there because Chaser missed the knockup. That was perfectly fine for Shy to use his teleport there and cancel yep. it. Trace had already used yep. his. And they'll be up at about the same time, too. Yep. So great TP use for, for Shy. Make sure that nothing goes wrong in the mid lane when you already have this big advantage. Yeah. Oh, Ambition getting Bami's Cinder before upgrading his machete. That seems a bit interesting. Just wants to farm. He's hard farming so. right now. So doesn't need that chilling spike. Just Here wants the HP and the life. burn. All right. Be careful here. Mad Life coming in. Always nice if you can. Oh, oh. there we go. Grab onto Janna. Nice whirlwind from Jay, but he's getting bursted so hard by Corky. Valkyrie ahead. Shale get out with the shield. But that's that's going to be your target. Oh, Space has to flash. Dodges that EQ combo. That that could have been bad. Yeah, traded two summoners for one though. Yep. In the end, and they have knowledge of where Chaser is in the jungle. So certainly a worthwhile trade for CJ. Oh yeah. Are they going to be able to do the dragon off of this is the question. And that mid lane pushed up, it's a little bit difficult. Oh, Ambition coming down on Rek'Sai as well to try to make a play here. Chaser on his way back, though. This is risky. Yeah, if they're going to dive this, I think they may regret it. So they're just checking. It's like they're thinking better of it right now. Yeah, I would too. Okay, so they were just looking to see with the Tremor Sense, actually, and then Mad Life is there to back him up. Ward the back of the pit, though, so okay. Jynair will know that this Dragon Attempt is incoming. Yeah, can They Jarvan can't really it? respond to it, though. It doesn't look like it. Chaser can try to go in and steal it. He's got the Flash to get back out. That's what he's going to try to do. Here comes Coco to try to secure this one. Ambition in true position. True shot, true shot, true shot. Oh, it's coming through, and Cho'Gath gets it. So CJ, oh, grab, misses. Chaser gets knocked up anyway. GBM adding the damage on. And here comes the ult. Mad Life dodges it. The oh. passive helps him survive the last two hits. Barely wow. getting out of that one. And yep. Coco feasting the dragon to make sure that it doesn't go over. Great time burst from CJ. That true shot barrage, it was... <laughs> Very interesting dragon contest, actually. No kidding. Considering well, that Chaser tried to time his smite around the true shot barrage hitting the dragon. Gotta try it, I suppose. Meanwhile, Shy versus Pilot up in the top lane. And look at the CS lead that Shy has over Trace. Yeah, it's huge. Still just crushing him. And CJ really did a much better job in this lane swap, having Shy up there. And yep. Jynair, they didn't want to, they got the flash up, but they didn't want to punish Shy further. Instead, they thought they'd get the lane freeze. But in the end, the position of the turret's just too good for CJ. And also, 
uh, when they saw Shy's Flash get burned, because CJ didn't have that freeze in the bottom side, they just pushed that wave into turrets, so they denied a very large amount of CS and experience from Trace by doing so. And Janir didn't respond appropriately to that situation. You either, you have a choice to make. You're either gonna go down to that bottom side and collect the wave while Shy gets denied because the wave is pushing towards you in top lane. Probably the, the safest and easiest way to deal with that lane swap situation. Or if you choose to go top and burn Shy's flash, you have to punish him for it. Yeah. You can't just say, okay, well that was nice. Because during that entire period, Shy was, prior to that, Shy was just CSing. And then he kept CSing after that, even though the wave was pushing in the opposite direction. He's got a lot of gold to And they got the first one. So, really questionable lane swap decisions from Janair. A pretty big uh, gold lead because of that already for CJ and Madlife still lurking in the brush. Has that sight stone. And the faster you can get that Sightstone on uh, Blitzcrank, the more kills you're going to have. That's for sure. So you can't grab what you can't see. Well, you can, but it's harder. <laughs> it is significantly harder. Yep. Yeah, what are they going to do with Nautilus up in the top side against this cannon now? Well, nothing. <laughs> He's got ult, he can gank mid lane, which is what he's gonna try and do, but there are too many wards. Well, Ambition is between him and mid lane anyway, so Ambition sees him with that tremor sense. He's oh, gonna follow geez. him in. Oh boy, yep. There's a knockup. Trace flashes out of it, gets a stun onto Coco. Coco takes a lot of damage from GBM, but look at this Ambition back over the wall, looking for a knockup on to gank by Mom hey, now, gets Shy. the flash. Yep, and here's Shy. Oh, Mad Life gets the grab onto Chaser as well. Can they burst him down? There's a red buff that might get stolen, and Shy will take it. CJ getting two more kills. Meanwhile, a little bit of an AD carry duel. Pilot going after Space, and Space is winning this one for now. Pilot, can he turn it around? Doesn't even want to try. A little bit too dangerous there for both carries. Wow. Uh-oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, Sh <laughs> Shy hair trigger on that teleport no kidding. right in the fight. And I don't know what they were expecting. I mean, there was the scuttler that Trace walked through. Yeah. And then he puts himself in an extremely dangerous situation. And he's just not tanky yet. He doesn't have any armor or MR. Well, 4,000 gold ahead for CJ at 10 minutes. They are uh, starting, you're starting to kind of think about perfect game here. I doubt it's going to happen, but yeah, it's uh, possible. It is possible. I just don't understand uh, Jin Air prioritizing this Jarvan so much. Well, I mean. I honestly feel like if Jin Air loses the first game against a, a team that they think they're kind of on par with skill-wise, they suffer mentally. I really feel like they tilt. Yeah, well. We've seen it against SKT, GE. I feel like we're seeing it against CJ again here. I think it's a, I think it's a little bit of a, a flaw for Jin Air, actually. They take the loss in game one pretty hard, it seems like. Uh, I'm really sad that this Nautilus is so far behind right now because I was yeah. really hoping to see how well he worked out. Well, he's going to have his rod so late now. Yep. And it's it's just not, I mean, this Nautilus is just never going to be tanky, is it? Not unless this game goes for quite a long time. Yeah. And given, Which, given CJ's domination of Dragon tonight, I don't think we're going to reach that ultra late game. Coco coming up again. Oh yeah, Trace may be in a little bit of trouble here. They're gonna spot him with the ward. Trace backing off already, but it's just gonna be another turret for CJ if they want it. We'll see if Chaser can come up and maybe push them away from it. Looks like they won't quite get it this wave. Whoa, on to Shy goes Trace. A Little bit of trading done, but that's about half the life of that top turret gone now. Dragon up in 50 seconds. CJ with some wards around, but Jinner actually with a, a decent amount of wards near there as well. But they got the pressure in top, and now they're... Yep. What what CJ did was they drew everyone on the top side and then forced uh, Jinner to respond, and now 30 seconds before Dragon, because everyone moved to top side, they now can ward up bottom. CJ just absolutely a step ahead of Janera in almost every way yeah. today. Ambition just decides to take the Raptors, because why not? It's all the small ones anyway. There's a stun, actually. Ambition getting poked out. Chaser, oh, oh, right into the fist of Mad Life. Here comes a two-shot Brod, just a lot of damage. Pilot picks up a kill there. He is dangerous on this Ezreal. There's a double knockup from the Whirlwind Mad Life, and Coco on the run. 
That'll get out. Oh, Mad Life. He's looking for another one. He's like, yes, come and try to kill the Pink Ward. <laughs> That's a really good cataclysm from Chaser. Oh, to yeah. Get everybody bottled up. CJ definitely too clustered for that hook to not be a, just a little bit dangerous right there. Jungler for jungler, so it's going to delay the dragon a hair. It's not going to stop it. CJ from getting it, I guess. CJ has Feast, so they have an advantage in terms yes. of burst. There's no vision. Coco has had a couple courses, and he's got room for more. <laughs> uh, Feast is down, though. Oh, well, he'll have room for more in the near future. Still, he still kills the news. Still no problem. Great ward coverage from CJ. And yeah. Uh, CJ, smart in terms of their pressure, dragging everyone top oh, side, oh. then warding bottom. Mad Life wants Goes for the blue buff, he wants it. Being very annoying. He Gets got it. it, he got it with his ult. Wow. Oh, I love this. Oh, Mad Life. <laughs> oh, Mad Life, I've missed your Blitzcrank like the desert misses the rain. <laughs> Pure poetry, Doa. That's right. I think I heard that in a 90s dance song once. <laughs> He's ready. You know what I heard in a 90s dance song once? What, uh, Ace of Base? Wait, that's the name of the... Heyo, Captain Jack. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, man, he's gone. He's benched. Yeah, if you guys want to know what Bloodthirsty support is, well, first watch Coco dodge. Wow. wow. GBM, not oftentimes do you see him not kill someone with that ult, but... Especially somebody without boots. <laughs> right. Well, that's a really rare miss for him. As I was saying, if you want to see the definition of Bloodthirsty support, that's it right there, Mad Life Splits Crank. The bloodthirstiest. It's a beautiful thing. All right, Mad Life. It's time for Righteous Glory. Yep. Yep, he's got the basics, he's got the sight stone, got the boots of mobility. So that means it's time to build into Death Cap. Here he comes. I see him. They saw him with a ward by the red buff, so they know yep. that Space and Mad Life are there waiting for the grabs. Oh. They're going to try, oh, Ambition's not going to be collapsed on. Difficult oh. to single out a Rek'Sai. Yeah, well, they have to They have to play very safely around this Blitzkrank Blitz now. Yep, and look yeah. at this, Trinity Force, CJ doing a great job of hitting this power spike and starting the siege right now. They've got great zone control with Cho'Gath and Blitz. Good wave clear from GBM and Pilot though, so at least mostly from GBM. Yeah, oh, they were already oh, set oh, up for this mid lane oh. push. Oh, he doesn't see Chaser. <laughs> wow. Chaser, you are a lucky guy right now. <laughs> well, there was nobody really to follow up on that, even if he had been grabbed. Could have soloed him. <laughs> Pretty sure. Evidence points to Mad Life soloing anyone at this point. Wow, another tower going down. And Trace actually building glory this game. Ooh, that is surprising. Huh, yeah. I think he just realized that he, the rod was going to take way too long to stack. I think it's a good choice given the situation. It's not ideal, but it's kind of the lesser of two evils, I suppose. Lesser of two uh, really late catalyst items. Yeah. And at least maybe they can get a pick this way by yeah. engaging very heavily onto someone if someone will ever come to his lane. Yeah, uh, Jin Air, I think, really messed up this lane swap. Oh, oh. Man, when you, when you hear that W go off, too, people just flee in terror. Overdrive is a terrifying ability to witness. Yes, the horn, the, the Blitzcrank <laughs> honking horn of terror. It is. Oh, Pilot. Arcane shift out of Rupture, and that's going to allow CJ to just walk up and take this Tier 2 turret. Yep. Again, just really hitting that power spike. Yep, they move into Pilot's lane, who has to use True Shot Barrage in order to wave clear against yep. that kind of a threat. So CJ playing aggressively. They have deep wards then on both sides of the map. They have that freedom, and they're doing an excellent job of snowballing this lead. CJ yeah. looking very strong. Oh, Trace thinking about coming in. See, I use the Boom Boom Blitzcrank skin. Yeah. I use the boxing one. That's pretty good. I like that one. Yeah, it's my favorite. You know, everyone's got, like, the skin they feel like they, they hit the most grabs with. That's mine. Shy. Trace. Shy has three levels ahead of Trace. This is ridiculous. Yeah, you're not going to win a 1v1, even with Che there to help out. Oh, hello, Mad Life. 
I do like the Piltover Custom Splitscrank as well. Wasn't as big of a fan of uh, I Blitzcrank. There's two shot barrage, but the siege continues. Nah, that skin is that skin is crap. Yeah. Oh, Chaser gets grabbed. There we go. The burst cataclysm used, but Mad Life just gets right out of it. I guess. How did he get out of that? He got knocked back or something? I don't know. That was weird. Either way, nice grab, Mad Life. <laughs> Good job. Wow. Well, the siege get more. continues. Yep. Here CJ we go. really playing this well. Come, Jay. Oh, oh, that was close. See, we Blitzcrank players, we know what's about to happen. You can see the targets coming. Oh, oh wow. Hello. Uh, did uh, Zareth just get eaten? Yeah, he did. I guess so. Feasted and ignited. Yeah. As ignited. As Ambition and Coco dive the Tier 1 tower. And there's just no holding out at this point. CJ is just destroying them in this power spike. Yep. After having that oh, huge oh, advantage oh. for the laning phase. Oh, I thought he was going to go down too. Now, Nautilus, not somebody you normally want to look into your team. Well, when he's this far yep. behind, he's just as, as squishy as anybody else, right? CJ can do whatever they want right now. Yep. Massive lead. Coco really needs to get an Iron Elixir. We want to see the biggest Cho'Gath we can. He made the mistake. There's no Lulu in this game, though, Doa. We will never see oh, Iron Elixir. You're right. Elixir. You're right. Okay, let's watch GBM. Oh, good rupture. Caught him with that. Flash feast. Ooh, oh, boy. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, uh, Cho'Gath has pretty good AP ratios, and he has a Magi's now. Yeah. You I, know, because. Yeah. You know, you're 103. You might, might as well start stacking that Magi's, right? Mad Life on the prowl. He's like, I don't what? Oh, this Rod of oh. Ages. GBM going to get grabbed. Mad Life, the only one around. You got this, Mad Life. You got it, solo. <laughs> You'll notice, by the way, that GBM didn't even have time to use either of his summoners because of how fast Coco was yeah. with the Flash W. I think Mad Life is in danger of being Zareth ulted if he's not a little bit more careful here. Dragon being taken by CJ. And Mad Life's just going to recall. Janera really hates Dragon this series. They do. They're not big fans. Oh! GBM tries to steal it, but can't quite get the damage in. And it's nearly a 10,000 gold lead. About 8,000 gold ahead is CJ Antis right now. See, the, the reason Cho'Gath can eat Xerath so quickly is because basically it's like absorbing the energy. It's like Xerath is just a battery for battle cast <laughs> Cho'Gath. Just opens his mouth and all the electricity goes right in. Pretty much, yeah. Down the hatch. Yep, just feels powered up at this point. Love that. Yeah, Mad Life's gonna get a double MVP tonight. I think so. Even though Coco probably deserves it more. It's impossible. It's impossible to beat Mad Life Splits Crank as far as MVPs goes. Although they're already interviewing him, they may they might give it to Coco. I could see them giving it to Coco. Also, Shy really did well with his oh, advantage yeah. in this one. Even though that was less his play and more of Jinnir's misplays. Yep. And now you've got like it's the Blitzcrank nightmare. Here we go. Goodbye. Oh wow. I'm surprised. That was very close. Okay. Oh, hi. Shy comes in from behind. Shay tries to ult. Doesn't really do much. Shy picks up the kill on the pilot. Man. Yeah. The, the uh, chair is just falling apart. You can't walk in there. Shy yeah. had, he was standing right in that choke with the minion wave. <laughs> the unseen cannon is the deadliest. Uh, you mean the seen cannon? Yeah, but the unseen cannon is even more deadly. It's true. You know, which really is impressive because that seen cannon was, you know, pretty deadly. Well. Just gonna wait for this ult to go away. I guess so, yeah. Oh, hi. All right, now is your time. Yeah! Do it! <laughs> That's what you call bloodthirsty support, ladies and gentlemen. Mad Life just going right <laughs> to the source right there. That's right. Just cut it off right That's at right. the source. Easy Mad mode. Mad Life doesn't smile. He's building a tier, but I think he's just collecting them from his enemies at this point. That just appeared after he killed GBM right now. <laughs> This is my favorite game ever. Ah, oh, yes. Well, CJ with that Baron buff now. 22 minutes into this game, 12K gold differential. Really insane. And, and again, I feel like we see this every time. We see Jynair collapse in game two against good teams. Yeah, they, it's a trend. It hasn't. They haven't collapsed this hard previously. This is yeah. an utter rout. True, true. And I mean, again, yeah. I mean, 
they're going to play each other in the playoffs. There's not a lot on the line right now, but you wouldn't expect them to lose this badly, you know? No, you certainly would not. And the looks on the players' faces are telling me that this is, you know, not a game they're taking with a grain of salt. Well, especially since Janair has to go against KT, another team that's been looking really good, and Janair can't keep Redu struggling with the 5.5 meta like this if they're going to try and beat KT. Yeah, more than anything, I think you're right. I think I think Janair is having a really hard time adapting to 5.5, and it's not going to get any easier in 5.6. They went, they tried to go back to what worked for them before, but and had they had a better lane swap, this Ooh. may be a very different game, right? So could be, yeah. This isn't really conclusive evidence that they can't play this style of team composition anymore, but it is for certain much harder than it was earlier in the season. Yeah. Well, there's just nothing stopping CJ now. Ambition doing a decent amount of damage to that inhibitor turret. Space is a bit low, but they can stick around as long as that Baron-powered cannon minion can do damage in this. Coco should be able to get this turret without any issue. Incredibly strong right now, so the 1 3 1 really working out for CJ. They're so far ahead, there's yep. really nothing that Jinder can do. Oh, another turret goes down. Thank you, Baron Empowered Cannon Minion. Now, CJ with two inhibitors vulnerable. Right, they're oh. gonna try. Alt nope. on to Shy. He's not someone you're go. Oh, well, there we go. Anchor. Shy pops the ultimate a little bit early here. Blitzcrank kills GBM again, because why not? Trace in a lot of trouble. Never got tanky. There's a double kill for Coco and CJ ready to end this one. Maybe right here. They took a lot of damage from the two-shot barrage. I don't think they can end, but yeah. they may be able to get three yeah. inhibitors. They're going to get at least two. Uh, it looks that way. They're With Pilot still around, yeah. Yeah, you can end it easily enough. Mad Life doesn't have enough kills yet. Looks like he's going for that face <laughs> of the mountain. Uh, no, actually just sold a bunch Se of stuff. Selling his What's items. What's he going to get? What's it going to be? Do you have enough for Death Cap? Better, be, better be Zerod Portal. 2,500. He sold his Sight oh. Zone. Now he rebought it. Oh. Oh. Aww. Mad Life. Aww. That's not how you troll. Come on, Mad Life. Okay, so we got all. Okay. Oh, uh, just face the mod. Oh, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Banner of Command, though, for Ambition. Yeah. Because why not? It's good. Yeah, that. That Prey Seeker for Rek'Sai, you're going to be dealing a lot more damage with that <laughs> AP. Oh, yeah. And there is the empowered melee minion. Let's see, what Mad Life really needs to get right now is, uh, well, I mean, Death Cap would be nice, but I really do like Frozen Gauntlet. No, it's a rod portal, man. Yeah. Oh. Mad Life allowing someone to not be grabbed there. Who's a zoning hook? Very generous of him. Yeah. He wants to remind people that he's mortal once in a while. And CJ coming in for the final push that will lock up third place for them in Champion Spring. Oh, GBM flashes out of that grab. He's got the fear of bad life in him. Nice rupture. Pilot taking a lot of damage. Ambition comes in, gets pushed back with that ult shy. With the slicing Maelstrom as well, Mad Life wants one more grab. Is he going to get it? No, not quite. Mad Life, the passive saving him from GBM's health. Oh, and there it is. The end of the game. CJ with the 2 0. One kill in that game. It was almost a perfect game if Ambition hadn't died. Of course, of course, Ambition. Well, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Third Very place. Convincing win from CJ Antis. And oh, yeah. A lot of questions still about Jinair and 5.5. They have been struggling. And uh, they, I don't know what to say. Let Mad Life play Blitzcrank every game. That's what I need to say. <laughs> yep. Was great. That's it was awesome, sure. dude. It's nice to see him play some of his signature champions again and do so well. Yeah, man, that was like the Mad Life of old to come back again. It was great. I hope it sticks this time, Noah. Me too. Me too, man. Chaser, steadfastly refusing to play Sejuani. Seriously, he's like, no, this meta will not change. It's too late, man. It's changed. You got to catch up.